Hi, John McMahon here from 509 Cumberland. Uh, the reason we did this video was simple. Two men, Wally Gowrecki and Rob Searcy, came by from T-Mobile and told us that the tower is coming in response to capacity and demand. When I told them Ellie Polychronus and I had driven around the neighborhood um, and we never lost a call the entire time on her T-Mobile phone, they then told us, well, that's driving. You need to walk. So then we walked the neighborhood. Again, great reception, no drop calls. And they said, you need to get into people's homes. So that's what we did here. And I should note that most of these people I've never met before. So you're meeting them as I am. And of course, again, I uh, will warn you that this is amateur photography. Thanks. So I am at the house of Marguerite Lincoln, where I'm going to borrow her T-Mobile cell phone, because I don't have T-Mobile, but Marguerite does. So let's start with right here. We're actually right in front of 1600. Um, sorry about that, it's a new camera. And let's take a look at our T-Mobile phone. Hello? Hi, I'm Carrie Johnston at 510 Meadows in Glendale, California. Okay. And I'm Ginny Johnson, 510 Meadows of Glendale, California. Okay, great. And Meadows is right below the hillside here. You can actually, when we go outside, we'll see how high we are. Right. We're pretty close to the hill and we still get um, great reception. So we're gonna, we're gonna call right here. Okay. And I'll try to put this on speaker. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, this is weird that I'm always talking to you and I'm not on camera, so I'm going to introduce you to, I forgot your name already, I'm sorry. Carrie Johnson. Carrie. Say hello to Carrie. Hi, we're your neighbor just uh, a couple of houses west of you up on Meadows. We, Maggie, I think we met you when you just had moved in. We had a couple of golden retrievers. We were walking around the neighborhood and, and so, but uh, we're getting perfect reception, so we're uh, questioning why they want to do the cell tower in our neighborhood also. Okay, what's your name? Uh, my name is Helen Innocent, and I live at 425 Meadows Drive. Okay, thank you, Helen. And we're going to make a phone call. And you see it's dialing right now. I'm having trouble focusing this, but there are full bars. Helen, can you tell me if there are full bars right there? Four bars? Looks like it, yes. Okay. Hey. Can you hear me okay? You hear me perfectly. All right, so it's another success story. Thank you, Helen, and bye-bye, Max. Tell me what your name is. My name is Nancy Foster. Hello, Nancy. Hi. What's your address? 1627 Ridgeway Drive. Okay, so I'm going to call my wife, and we can both say hello to her. If we can hear it. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. I'm here in another house. I'm on Ridgeway now. How are you? Excuse me? I'm on Ridgeway. Can you hear me? What's it? Sorry, you're on speaker this time. I figured out how to get it to work. Okay. Okay, you can hear me okay? Perfectly fine. Okay, and you can see, Nancy, that you'll tell me on camera that there's the full bars here? There are the full bars there. Okay. So in addition to, to, um, to interviewing people, I just also want to just drive around. You can see we're at full bars right here, so I'm going to go to some intersections. So... You can see right now we're at the intersection of uh, Cumberland and Highland. All right, what's your name? Chris Cho. Chris Cho, and what is the address here? 815 West Mountain Street. West Mountain Street, okay. And you have a daughter out there? Wonderful. Hello, sweetheart. And um, so we're going to make a call. Uh, before we do that, if I can just turn the phone on, you can tell me, do you, do you or do you not see full bars there? I do. Okay, so we're going to make a call because T-Mobile has incredible coverage in this area. And uh, we'll just make sure on a real call that we can hear everything. Right oh, yeah. We'll actually show that afterwards. We've been showing all the ones on Meadows that were right underneath the mountains. This is Becky. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's me. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. I'm just mixing up cookie batter. All right. I'll be home soon. Thank you. Okay. Make some extra. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just we should just show where we're at how close into the hills we are in this in this uh in this lot here that you know the argument that they don't have coverage in the mountains this gentleman who we just spoke to and you can see his daughter still playing back there with him they are literally right up against the hill i'm greg stromberg 801 cumberland road 801 cumberland road perfect we're gonna make a call greg you can see the phone there in the upper corner you see the sort of full bars right uh -huh. i don't know because i don't know if that comes through on the camera that well it's hard for it to come through, but full bar. So this is Marguerite's phone, so let's not call her Abuela. Let's call it that number. So that's, we're just going to stay on here while this call goes through. You're recording right now? I am recording. Oh, we should at least put it on the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
should be on the phone. Yeah. Hello. Hey, it's me. How are you? I'm good. Who's me? Uh, it's John. Who is this? Hello. This is Maggie. <laughs> All right. So we're down in Cumberland, 800 block. So can you hear me okay here? Okay, because it looks like you have full bars, every single one. So, all right, thank you. Awesome, thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, full bars. I'll okay. Verify it. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so what is your name? Bob D'Angelo. And the address here? 1706 Highland Avenue. 1706 Highland Avenue. And? Ellen D'Angelo. Ellen D'Angelo. 1706 Highland. Okay, perfect. And you can see we're inside. I'll back off their gorgeous house. And uh, so we're going to just make a quick call. And this is just going to be a call to my wife, who, who's used to this, because I've just made her ten calls in a row. Oh my god, it's also strange. She said, I'm making cookies right now. I says, I hope for everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> he drove up as I was getting ready to oh. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, we're just making a phone call. Um, okay. th I'm talking to Bob here. Can you hear us okay? Yeah. I can hear you perfectly. Hi, my name is Michael Hunt. Okay. 432 Rockmont Drive in Glendale. Okay. You can see there's full bars in the left corner of that phone, right? There, there are full full bars. You sure you Yeah. Yeah, it's not showing up that well in camera. Hey, it's me. Hi. Say your name. My name is Maggie McMahon. Okay, you're talking to Michael Hunt. Hi. Hi, Maggie. How are you? I'm doing great. All right, so, and we're watching football. It's 26-14 Philadelphia, so. All right, that's all we wanted to see, just that the phone worked. Yeah, that's no, it works, it works fine here. So you can hey, see Laura, we're up in a canyon here. John. We're doing a little video. What is your name? Laura Friedman. Okay, and your address? 300 Brockmont Drive in Glendale. Okay, so you're literally right in here in the canyons. I am stuck in the bottom of the fishbowl. Okay, so we're going to make a phone call. Okay. Put it on speaker to see. And Laura, you can tell me, because my camera doesn't pick it up well. Well, You see you get full bars there? Yes. In the upper left? Yes, full bars. I'll try to get on the camera, but it's having a lot of trouble picking it up. It's the blur. It's ringing. It's ringing. Hello. Hey, it's me. I'm here with Laura Friedman. Hi. Hi. State your name for the record. Maggie McMahon. All right, can you hear us okay? I hear you perfectly. All right, my camera's running out of battery, so I'll see you in five minutes. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay. There okay. we go. Thank you. Right. And what's the dog's name? Jaco. Jaco. Adios, Jaco. So there's your video. Thank you for your patience. We have about 200 signatures from the surrounding blocks. We had everyone write their cell service next to their name each time. And there's like nine people from T-Mobile. It's less than 5%. There's no customer base to speak of here. And I have to tell you, honestly, I didn't want that to be the case because we were giving away iPhones to people to switch. But there's almost no customers here to switch, which is why there are no capacity issues, because there's no demand, which is why their calls go through so well and the existing network works so well. And that's why there's no tower needed. Thank you.